This is Pam Reynolds. She died on the operating table for an entire hour. And while she was gone, she had one of the most bizarre near-death experiences ever recorded. In 1991, she suffered from a severe brain aneurysm and underwent a surgery that was almost certain to kill her. While in surgery, she was clinically dead for 60 minutes in a state of stasis. This is when the body is drained of its blood, the heart is stopped, and the brain ceases all neural activity. While in this state, Dr. Robert Spetzler was able to successfully mend the brain aneurysm, and she regained consciousness shortly after. Upon her awakening, what she told doctors and nurses completely baffled them. It was impossible. She said she was above herself and the surgery as it happened. She was able to recall and quote what the doctors and nurses were saying and doing. While in the state, Pam also said that she recalled a presence of pure light beside her, but she didn't know who or what it was. Before the surgery, Pam said her final words and goodbyes to her loved ones in case she didn't make it. But during her experience, she said that she had no desire to re-enter her body. She knew her kids would be fine and she really did not want to come back. But something told her that she had to and it simply wasn't her time. After this experience, Pam no longer feared death and scoffed at any mention of the matter. Her doctor, Robert F. Spitzler of the Barrow Neurological Institute, was absolutely in shock at the things that she told him, saying there was zero possibility of brain activity during this procedure. They had all sorts of equipment to monitor heart and brain activity. They would have noticed even a microscopic amount of neurons firing. Pam Reynolds would pass away at the age of 53 in 2010, nearly 20 years after her experience. She left behind an incredible story, one that, in my opinion, proves that there's life.